Yo, was geht ab, Gentlemen? This is Mr. James Tusk. Nice from, to be here. From London. He's a really good looking guy. He is cool. Oh, he's cool. He didn't know it was going to be this type of video. He <laughs> <You> didn't know. <laughs> I was like, yeah. It's got a bit yeah. of a 70s porn site yes. set to it. So, okay. if any girl's watching, then this is your man to go. <laughs> And I invited him. He's a professional day game coach from London. He's traveling all around the world. Most of you are in Southeast Asia or South America in the winter. And in summer you are in Europe, Europe, yeah. Europe right? And we uh, we kind of cross paths because you're obviously, you moved to Warsaw, didn't you, recently? And I've yes. been here for about a week and I'm coming back again in September as well. So, yeah, good to be here, man. Yes. So, today, in today's episode, we'll be talking about lifestyle design. We'll make a series about this. Mm -hmm. And we'll cover everything, how to create a better, more confident, more adventurous lifestyle for men. She just wants to flirt, so I flirt right back. I just put in work, yeah, I work like that. Yes, so in this video we are going to talk about uh, lifestyle design, how to become more confident, how to be the best version of yourself basically, how sure. to develop as a man, how to be more masculine, how to be more... How to have better fashion and all of this and also the transformation what we do with our customers yes. from like um, they don't know what to do they have low self-esteem they they don't know how to dress they don't know how to do how to talk to girls they don't know how to talk to anyone they work in like yeah they they're not living their dream so we're basically showing them the transformation in this video yes okay so what's off uh, we've, we've listed a few points down so what we do what what's uh, what's the first point yes yeah, so um, Do you guys know your story? You are... Yeah, I mean, as guys know, you know, came from a kind of a city working background. Uh, for, I've been working part-time for another company for six years. And then uh, two years ago, I set up my own channel yep. on day game and dating. Um, trying to actually kind of lead by example and live life on my own terms. So I wasn't happy with just sitting in London. A lot yep. of people think London's a very cool place, but if you spend too long anywhere in the world, you get bored. And yep. I was in a routine of I'm not really doing anything with my life, really, when I think about it now. But now... I've set up my life purposely to allow me to travel um, week to week, different places around the world. Um, I love the sun, so yeah, May to September I'm always in Europe. And September to May I'm going to Southeast Asia or South America yeah. or the US. Um, and yeah, I, I very much created a lifestyle where, yeah, I was, I, what I'm excited about my life, you know? Yeah. Um, because it's very hard to um, try and actually get, get top quality curls. Um, and pull them into your reality for more than one night if you're not yep. actually living a life on your own terms and, and living Very an attractive true. life Very yourself. True. What yep. about you, Phil? What was your background? Yes, for me, I started like as a really low self-esteem person. When I was out of high school, I was like deeply depressed because I kissed a girl and she didn't love me back like I expected to her. I thought when you kiss a girl that she's yours forever. Yeah. So yeah. It's the, the idealistic ro yeah, ro so Disney romance, isn't it? Yeah. 100 women later I found out that it's not true and I came from a really like depressed background so I decided to travel the world. I moved to Australia. I was working there uh, in sales and also this face-to-face -face sales with the charities, door-to-door -door knocking. All of that stuff. So really, okay. I, yeah, so I learned kind of building English. Your, building your social yes, skills. Yes, exactly. So I was building my social skills mostly in sales jobs, promotion jobs, in uh, in Australia. Then I came back. I started studying. Then I was at the university. There, there were like no girls. There were like five hot blonde girls. So and you went the rest from. You went from. How old were you in, when you were in Australia doing sales? Oh yeah, that was when I was uh, 20. Or oh, I moved there with 19 uh -huh. or 18. Then I lived in Sydney for a year. Nice. And Very then I moved system. through uh, Southeast Asia. Okay. So all of Southeast Asia, Eastern Europe. Uh, then I came back to Frankfurt to study. I, I quit study once when I was studying in like some shitty cow town two years before I started studying in Frankfurt. Okay. Because yeah, I came back and there was like this shitty cow town, no girls at all. Is this in Germany? Yeah. Yeah, in the east of Germany, below Berlin, like in the deep forest with wolves and everything. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good place for a retreat, like yeah, a man, man man retreat. I was there. The wolves <laughs> I was there one year and I got laid once, so that was pretty fucked up. With a wolf. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> with a wolf. Um, and then when did you go and do your kind of? You, you mentioned you came from a did some party promoting. Where, or what, uh, yeah. How did this kind of so, happen? Um, when I quit studying. Then I moved to Stuttgart, Germany, and I was uh, working in a bank, in a big bank, and I did an apprenticeship there. I worked there for two years, I was always dressed nice, I 
uh, got to know girls at work mostly. Mm -hmm. And it was cool, they were pretty and stuff, but um, when I was 22 then, or 23, I really wanted to learn like game, like really. Like the first year in game was fucking epic because I met Stifler from American Pie. Like same guy, Nicholas Hefke. <laughs> Some guy I met in Australia and he's like total natural, like enthusiastic, high energy, uh, really charismatic. He's, so you had he's a, strong a kind of a, yeah. a very good mentor. Early. Yeah. He mentored me basically. I was traveling with him through Thailand and Vietnam, Philippines. And he mentored me basically. So my first year was pretty good. I had like 20 girls or so. And then it dropped down when I quit university, but when I was back in Stuttgart at the bank, then I really wanted to learn like the cold approach thing and I was going out like every day. Mm -hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day game, Thursday, Friday, tequila bar. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty sick. And then after that I moved to uh, Spain and I was working there in Magaluf and Balaman. Baleario and I was working there as a party promoter and then I got slowly going with the whole uh, pickup thing and I was getting really good at it. Nice. Were you yeah. in a port where in Malaga? Uh, Magaluf. Magaluf. It's Mallorca in Magaluf and after that I moved back to Frankfurt. I was living in city center directly mm -hmm. and then I moved to uh, Golden Sands Bulgaria and then I basically decided when I'm the best promoter this year and I sell the most tickets and I'm having the most fun and I get girls every day, then I'm going to start like the pick up coaching. So it's kind of a natural business. progression, yeah. I guess. Yeah. It's interesting though, because now obviously your folk past promotion is very much kind of, it's almost day game skills, isn't it, for the yes. street stuff, but then you're actually partying in the bars, whereas this is yeah. kind of the opposite, where you're actually doing everything in the daytime. Yeah, um, and also in, in nightclubs, I just, I don't, I don't like to dance. So I'm mostly in the areas where it's like chilled smoking area. We cut from the same cloth. Yeah. I'm a fucking terrible dancer. <laughs> it's like why? Why would I dance? Like really? I think if you can dance well, like yeah, he he does the cameraman, bro. He does. He's, well. Yeah, he, he he doesn't speak English, so <laughs> he just goes up to the girl like high energy, and then he's really good at nightclubs. I think if you can, I think it is kind of a thing. If you can learn salsa or something, it is a value add, especially if you're going to spend time in South America. So. Yeah, guys get confused they talk about all oh, this snake seduction thing no no it's just like adapting to your environment yeah. if you're in South America where it is expected for, for men to dance um, for example if you're in Colombia you should really as a guy learn Spanish and learn to dance because those are two things that are going to allow you to access those high quality girls um, so I think it is important but I agree with you I can't be bothered personally yes for me thank you very much that's our personal assistant <laughs> And another latte? Or? Uh, no, thank you. Um, cool. Okay, so we... No, no. <laughs> we, we, we digress. So what are the points we can give to guys to kind of maybe some... I mean, look, this isn't an extensive list, but these are some things maybe if you're watching this video at home yeah. and you're a bit kind of disillusioned as to where your life's going, maybe these are some points that yeah. will spark some sort of thought, you know, about how to fix your life in, in some ways. And yeah. if it gets a good reception, this video, we can go with me and Phil will sit down and do a podcast where we go into everything over two hours and give you a complete plan. So again, comment below. This is just a real uh, sort of a tip of the dice iceberg summary to just gauge interest. And if you guys want to see it, hear it, and we'll, uh, we'll make it happen. Yeah, so um, what do you think how important it is to learn social skills and confidence? Game as a... For your lifestyle design because you can't get the really hot girls if you're not living like your dream you know you you want to wake up and you want to be like boom this is my work but it's fun and if you're having fun in life and you're happy and you're working on yourself you uh, going to the gym and stuff mm -hmm. still how important are the social skills yeah, I think very important I mean I came from a sales background which is incredibly helpful in, in understanding how all this stuff works I mean, you work in sales yeah nice. um, so pick up is to a large degree just sales, you know, um, yeah. and I think it's very important to learn this stuff. Yeah, very important. Um, also, the connections you make. You know, if I would have like shitty social skills, you would not even talk to me. Exactly, this is true. You know? Yeah, like and being some... able to take make the first move, things like this. But also, that I, th I think that's why we both like day gamers because it really there's nowhere to hide with this stuff. You're going up to someone in broad day, like you have to make her feel a certain way. You have to make it make it happen. Yeah. And so by just doing day game, you're out there, you're practicing your social skills. You become a lot more socially and emotionally intelligent. Yeah. And this is cross applicable to everything else. You know, it's going to yeah. help you in your career. It's going to help you in other areas as well. So. 
Uh, massively important, and the one way to do it is to actually get out there and stop talking to girls. Most guys' biggest fear is talking to hot women. Yeah. The only way to get better at that is guess what, going to talk to yes. hot girls. And but, not but doing guys it by masking alcohol. Guys look always for like shortcuts or something different than talking to girls, right? But getting good in business, getting good in sales, if you are good with girls and you're able to seduce hot girls, then this gets a lot easier, like everything. Yesterday, you, you've seen the, the client from yesterday. Like, yes. Highly successful man, several business companies, and he still talks and pays me to coach him like all of this stuff. Like how to uh, communicate better, how to have better uh, social skills, how to improve your body language also for his business. So it basically, game learning game is not like a manipulative, manipulative sleazy thing it's actually being honest with yourself and creating the life you want yeah I, I completely agree with that um, I think understanding I guess linked to social skills is understanding a kind of intergender dynamics as well I mean guys that watch my channel know that I'm a very big advocate of a book called The Rational Male by Rolo Tomasi because it really lays out the foundation for things that women inherently know but as men we don't know so most yeah. of the big takeaway from that was um, a women's sexual peak is around 22, 23, whereas yep. a man's is like 37, 38, and it's a very slow drop off. Most men, they'll just get married at 30 because their girlfriend's biological time bomb yep. of wanting a kid is happening, and they're just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to get married now. And the guy's like, yep. uh, okay, he has no idea about his own yes. value increasing. Yes. He thinks, right, it's going to drop as well. So, basic stuff like this that big women problem, big know. problem. People, uh, people are here, right? And they can be here, but they're stuck here because between this, there are all these limiting beliefs and mm -hmm. all these things that are holding you back, all their limiting beliefs, all their insecurities is here. So basically what they're doing, they settle for a girlfriend here, but after learning game and creating a lifestyle, they can get like girls like even yes. here. That's what they don't understand because like all of this stuff that's in here between your ears is working against you. Yeah. It's working against you as well, against me, like mm -hmm. all the time, you know? Yeah, I guess people just don't know what they don't know. Yeah. Like, it's like kind of that map on the video game yeah. with like the shadow, and you just don't know it exists, so you, you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Most men, some of the things in the rational world will trigger things kind of in their psyche. They're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But most guys just, just don't know because no one's told them. Yes. And, and, and it's not a misogynistic thing, but girls, of course, they're not going to tell men this. Like, yes. One earth would they be like, oh, you're yes. not feeling your own value. Oh, you should marry, you know. So, yeah. social skills and also understanding the basic concepts. Again, I'm not not big on recommending theory, but The Rational Male Roller Tomasi, his first book, I really yeah. do recommend men read. Um, yeah, okay, so that's kind of a summary on things. So if you're a young guy thinking, what do I do? I'd recommend you get a job in sales. Yeah. Um, High-end sales, yeah. you know, you're gonna also make good money, you work on commission, so it encourages to be, yeah. be self-reliant, resilient. Um, you realize rejection doesn't mean fucking anything, and yeah. it's really, really directly cross-applicable to picking up women. Yeah. Uh, so life is sales in, in in all format. Life is sales in in some format, isn't it? Yeah. Selling yourself in, in a, whether yeah. it's Friday night in a nightclub or yeah. to a to a new job or whatever. You know, yeah. upgrading yourself on a business class flight for free. Yeah. This is it's all sales. Uh, it's yeah, all interaction. Man. So. Yeah, get a job in sales, practice day game. Those are the two things I'd recommend to really accelerate this area of your life quickly. Yes, and also in the process, you become like a lot more confident. You meet so many beautiful girls you've never dreamed of. Like, really, I'm like short guy. I'm 165 centimeters, like five six, five seven, mm -hmm. and you would like the girls in my phone. Like, they are very pretty, you know. So. <laughs> Just goes to show. Yeah. Uh, gift of the gab, and you did you did some sales training, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So you know it's it's well worth doing. Yeah. Also, like, um, thing is, you can't do it alone. It just doesn't work. If you don't know how to, you can't do it alone. And what do you mean by this? Do what? For learning game. It takes like ages to learn it alone. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't have guidance, when to uh, look at which th theory and practice it, how to implement it, all of that stuff. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think look, you can. Both me and Phil put out stuff on our channel, which allows you to basically learn this yourself. Yeah. Um, and I purposely do that because I want to give guys the value. I'm not trying to hide anything. Yeah. But yeah, if you want, it, if you're a guy who values your own time, time being the most valuable resource we have in life, because it's the not only non-renewable resource. You can make more yep. money. You can't make more time. Then save yourself time and um, 
get coaching as a shortcut. I mean, it doesn't have to be with me and Phil, um, but... Yes, know, it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> get it with someone who knows what they're doing, but also the reason for this is we've made all the mistakes under the sun. Yeah. We've been doing this eight years, I've been doing this around that, maybe a bit less than that, but I've, I've wasted so much time making mistakes when actually I could have just got someone to kind of look at my blind spots and accelerate and, and tell me what I did wrong. So I would recommend you get coaching. Um, what's the next thing on our list? Uh, yes, yeah, so... I want to describe like the transformation that you experience when you learn all of this stuff. Okay. When, you, when you start creating your lifestyle, like how does it work? Um, how does it affect like all the areas of your life, your status, your social circle, your wealth, like okay. your, your lifestyle? Let's start talking about so, that. So, uh, yeah. So in the beginning, for me, was uh, that I kind of put out like a vision of myself. Who do I want to be? What do I want to do? Where do I want to live? Do I want to travel? Like how many times? Yeah, like it's how really many? Cool. How many times do I want to travel a year? Where do I want to live? What's the climate like? What's my girlfriend like? Like So it got really specific. Yes, really specific. What kind of girls do you like? Characteristics. Write down 30 characteristics. Um, how shall she look? How shall she act around friends? What do you want to do with her? How is your lifestyle? How many times do you want to meet friends? Uh, how are you going to build a social circle in these cities? Like, the entire thing, how day game helps you to reach all of this. Okay, cool. Uh, how important is like the health, gym and fashion thing? Um, okay, so yeah, health, touching on health, uh, health, gym and fashion, uh, all incredibly important, of course. Yeah. Um, Why? Why? I mean, fashion, I always kind of underestimated fashion because, yep. um, again, as a guy, we don't really give that much of a fuck, right? When we look at a girl, we're more looking at her body. You know, she can wear something nice, but we really, we just wanted to sit naked, right? A lot of the time. Um, with the with the fashion thing, though, I've realized, like, what we see, like a really nice ass or a really nice pair of tits or a really good body, <laughs> the equivalent for, for a woman is looking at a guy in a really good suit. You know, that really yeah. gets them going. Yeah. So, for example, so fashion for women is, is massively important and, and very few guys can dress well. Um, and, and they also don't dress edgy. Like, for example, if they're working in a blue collar job and they're all wearing suits, and there are, do you know, these guys who are just wearing like these generic, simple suits that looks like their mom bought them. You yeah, know? yeah. So Even you, you want to dress like well. You know, it doesn't have to be expensive anyway. So like, you don't have to wear like branded clothes. No, absolutely not. There's a guy who does a lot of, uh, he's done a few fashion videos on my channel. He's a Calvin Klein one, and he said he would actually buy the Primark stuff. Or yeah, it looks or, good. Ace or stuff over, as yeah. long as the fit is correct yeah. and the style is correct. It's, there's no difference in quality, it's just a fucking label. So even yeah. if there are guys who are maybe more studenty out there or whatever, you don't have to spend thousands. But yeah, get again, get a get a consultant. I, I'd actually recommend for guys that are really clueless, again, save yourself time, get yourself a coach. Speak to my guy, for example, I can put you in touch or find someone else. But just save yourself a bit of time and just get yeah. them to dress you. Because you only need four or five different outfits in different scenarios and that's that covered. And it's very simple to fit straight away. Yeah. You can do that in a day. Yes. You know? It's like immediately you get better results because you yeah. you basically change your body from the outside to the inside. Yeah. Because like I see it in students, like first day boot camp on a week program, for example, they come and okay, we need to shit you, uh, <laughs> we need to change your um, your beard, your dress, your grooming, your haircut, your like you like your dress that your clothes fit. Um, buying them a cool jacket or they buy them for themselves like trousers, trousers that fit here and uh, nice shoes like this, leather shoes. Yeah. Um, I think it's really important because it gives like a instant boost on confidence because they change something and change is motion and this brings you forward. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the, the fitness and the, uh, the diet, I'd say that they're obviously very important. If you eat yeah. shit all day long, you're going to feel like shit. There's no shortcut to that. I yeah. typically eat when it goes, it's gone a bit out of the window, this boot camp, because it's been a bit of a, a boozy one, but typically <laughs> I'll try and eat low carb, lots of vegetables, meat. Um, and obviously, yeah, get, getting to the gym every day, trying to, you know, yeah. 30 minutes is not a big time investment. Yeah, at 50, all. 50 minutes. 50 for you. Like, 50 minutes at the gym give you like three hours of extra energy a day, right? Yeah. Because you feel like your muscles are tensed, and you just feel like your body and how your muscles work in your body, and this also gives you Good feeling. So yeah, I mean, those are those are two basics, very much in your control. 
again, if you don't know what you're doing at the gym and spend, start spending ages Googling it, go to a good PT, get them to re write out a three month yep. you know, plan to get you started for the weights and a diet plan. And that's fixed, yep. again, something you can fix. You can fix the fashion and the gym stuff in yes. one day in terms of the planning. Yes, for the next that's what months. we did. We move like uh, countries every one or two months and we still go to the gym. I mean, I, I go even more frequent, I, week to week, but I, the first thing I do when I arrive, I always book an Airbnb yeah. so I can cook for myself. First day, yeah. always supermarket, stock up yeah. on healthy shit, and then sign up to the gym. Yes. Always, and usually I book the Airbnb, I, I search on the map for it to be by a good gym, yeah. because that, again, that's in your control, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, one more thing to this. Um, I mean, we're traveling now, we, we set up like a lifestyle where we can travel or where we don't have to be at specific places, like for boot camps, of course, mm -hmm. but we can uh, work in online and travel. Mm -hmm. And also when you do this, you'll meet a lot more people that have been doing it and they're like, you see that they're not special people, right? Mm -hmm. Like everyone can do it. Yes, it's not rocket science. It's yes. just, it's just a, as you said, plan it out. Planning, and reverse working. engineering it, thinking, right, how yeah. much money do I need to be traveling every yes. month? What's my desired income? Yeah. Um, how many hours a day do I need to actually yeah. be working? What is my hustle going to be? Um, that's exactly it. And you probably know these guys. They obviously they need help in all of these areas, right? Mm -hmm. But they don't want to spend money. What would you advise those guys? They don't. They, they say, yeah, I, I would invest time, but you know, I'm, I'm going on a holidays in uh, Dom Dominican public for four grand, but they don't want to invest in like their health and their uh, fitness, in their just get better at stuff. What yeah, I think it's about them? having your priorities in order. Yeah. I mean, you can only. If you, if you don't have these value adds in different areas, it all kind of builds up. Whenever you stop a girl, um, it doesn't matter what you look like or however good your game is, mm -hmm. there is a value, kind of value chips are exchanged. Mm -hmm. for, for us or her, it's about her looks and you know, whatever, uh, her age. But for the girl, she's kind of, all this stuff kind of adds to your, your inner belief system yeah. yourself. And if you don't have these things on point, she's going to always be able to see straight through her. It's hard to explain, but you're better off investing in yourself. Self-investment is going to allow you to be yep. to add more value to yourself yes. and allow you to attain that kind of high level yes. goal. Um, and for the guys that don't want to spend money, well, uh, maybe it's not a priority for you, but again, I would say that the most important thing you can do is get coaching in these different areas because you just don't, you never get the time back. So you can spend yep. six years figuring this shit out or just yep. pay someone You can do it in, in, in six months. I mean, it's a no-brainer for yep. me. But again, yep, I'm I'm sure. maybe mo uh, most people in life don't value time. Yeah, they don't really. They see it. They just piss it away watching Netflix, yep. or sitting on the sofa doing nothing, or working jobs yes. for eight hours a day. They hate. So you're never going to get that that time back. Figure it out. Yep. So it's about valuing time more and really understanding the scarcity of that asset, yep. probably. And then if you can do that, you'll you'll really make some really clever decisions, and you'll just essentially just focus on yep. the important things. Yes. If you write down what you want and you just go for it, bro, the universe will like give it to you. Boom. Yes. Yeah, so the next topic we want to talk about is uh, how does communication skills, day game. Uh, body improving your body language and your communication skills and everything how does it help you with like your your status in in your life and also the social circle building yeah I mean it it's obviously very useful I think you've got to map out kind of what you want to be doing in terms of you are the sum of the you know the, the five people you spend the most time with so yeah in terms of social status and things like that, you, you really can design it to be what you want. Yep. But it depends who you want to be hanging out with. Yep. I mean, do you want to be hanging out with, with kind of a, the, the club promoter, very high-end guys in clubs, or do you want to be hanging out with more of a hipster crowd? Do you, it, it really depends what you're kind of into, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, so you should set up your social circle depending on who you actually want to be spending time yeah. with. That should be a combination of guys that you can learn from, yeah. or guys you get on with, you know, on their own path and actually trying to yeah. improve themselves, but also, you know, filling that with uh, kind of creating the, the environment where you're bringing in the types of girls you want to be hanging around with as yes. well. And also, uh, what I found, if you're hanging around with like successful guys uh, who had their shit together in their business or career or fitness or something, they don't value the girls so much, right? Yes. They, they yeah. They value the girl herself and they like the girl and they like the attention of it, but they don't care so much about the girls, for example. It's their priority to uh, go to the gym first before yeah. they meet. And if, if she's not coming, then that's cool, still going to the gym. Yeah, that's, that's very yeah. attractive because yeah. you want them, but you don't need them. You know, you're living in a very yeah. strong, attractive reality and you're bringing them in yes. as kind of a guest. Yes. You know? And yeah. So, yeah, I'd say that's. Uh, 
it was, it's a big thing uh, have you got any other tips for guys on kind of social circles oh yeah um, the, the social, social circle, circle thing like I've been do, I've been doing it a lot you know I, when we was working as a party promoters on the beaches in Spain and Bulgaria yeah. we always had like a social circle team there were like always new people coming in entire team in the VIP section we got uh, bottles and we had like friends there uh-huh. and also the, the other promoters from the uh, other companies uh-huh. from the other sales companies so you get to know them they're wearing bands so you, you have you're like in golden sense we were like a group of promoters maybe 100 that know each other and then you can uh, hang out with those uh, cool guys you introduce some girls they introduce girls to you yeah and so in in special settings like this it works because you just you're into a social circle like a sales team a promotion team a football team a soccer team like mm-hmm. and when I was in Frankfurt, I was I was based in Frankfurt. I was studying there, but I quit YOLO, <laughs> uh-huh. and yeah, I was studying international business. But now I'm having an international business, so ah, that's a big difference. That's a good <laughs> you know, way of putting it, though. Yeah, so, so you know, and I was in the city center of Frankfurt, and I was basically going out and meeting girls during the day, and I was just inviting them to my place. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sunday, I have a place. I sent them like an application. Uh, not like an application, like an invitation. Hey, this is Phil. What's up? Uh, on Friday, I'm having a party at my place. We'll have uh, we'll have billiard. We have pool. We have uh, food. We have drink. We have snacks, and you can all come. Bring friends. You know stuff like that. So, or you post in Facebook group that you're throwing parties at a special club or area, and you basically invite people to stuff. That's cool. Yeah, you invite people. Hey, let's hang out at this bar at this bar every Thursday. Mm-hmm. For example, Gibson Club in Frankfurt, mm-hmm. or like um, a side bar in Sydney, Australia, every Monday. When it's crowded, when it's good, just invite the people to happy hours to to have drinks with you, and you always tell them to bring their friends. And you want to have like a really open vibe, so you're basically flirting with everyone. It's a very cool idea. So yeah, for, yeah. for guys out there wanting to kind of more learn more of the, uh, I guess, the social status building, because you're yeah. not used to work as a party mate, yeah. so you're the man for that. Yeah. Also, when you're at university, you always you want to write down who do you want to meet. Who are the cool guys at university? You write them down and you make friends with them. That's a good idea. Yeah, man. It's and very basic, it, but it's true. Yeah, it will it will happen. You have to think and yeah, and then. You, you can basically, with this skill, with day game, you can build social circles everywhere. Thing is, you don't want all these social circles. So you want successful people, you want to have people with a drive, you want to have people that support you, that say yes to you, mm-hmm. and that don't hinder you or are negative. Yeah, those are some key, key criteria, I guess. And, yeah. and what would you, would, would you have any advice for guys that kind of, you know, some guys watch this channel, maybe they are a bit kind of loner-ish? and they're looking to build a social circle. How would you go about actually doing that if you ha- don't have anything? Oh yeah, um, so when you, yeah, they're... Figure out what you're interested in, like yeah. kind of whether it's the gym or spitting shit, <laughs> the gym or whether it's uh, you know, learning to dance or, or boxing, would you kind of m- kind of map out your interests and then try and meet people through mm-hmm. that or would you recommend something different? Yeah, so, I mean, you can you can meet people anywhere. You just need their name, and then you can find them on Instagram, on Facebook, and, then and drop them a message. Yeah, like everywhere. Yeah. So um, if you are like really alone and you have like social anxiety and stuff, like many people have it, you have social anxiety. You don't know how to talk to people. You don't know how to talk to girls. Then mm-hmm. I would uh, put myself in environments where I can meet people. Okay. Uh, yeah, this can be the gym. This can be a yoga class. This can be a football. This could be something. So you just get used to. Uh, talking to people. Talking to random people. It's, yeah, it's like, a massively understated thing, yes. actually. And I think what guys often do is they uh, they don't have much going on in their, their personal lives or whatever, and they see pickup as like the holy grail of whatever. Yeah. You know, and they uh, they miss out kind of the a bit the, just the social skills part, which is actually just kind of learn to just go and talk to random people, right? Yeah. It's. Um, I mean. It's basically, in the beginning, I would just go for value. Take, like giving people value, making people compliments, helping people with some stuff, asking where they're from, making them talk about them, so you get used to socializing. Okay guys, so you've, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It wasn't supposed to be an extensive list, it was just supposed to kind of things that were on our brain and we yeah. kind of free flowed a bit with it, but it's stuff that we always kind of think about with clients as a bigger picture of the stuff. Yeah. Um, if you'd like to see more of kind of us unpacking this topic, uh, email either me or Phil. Um, what's your email address? 
uh, heitlinger.phil at gmail.com or james tusk at project and we can uh, maybe, maybe sit down and go into detail with it but yeah i hope, hope it's kind of brought some things out if you'd like coaching with phil he's now working with me as well so he's going to be uh, i'm going to be in september time onwards i'm going to be off in southeast asia prancing around so obviously there's a uh, go on my website and click on the far eastern boot camp list but phil's going to be covering europe so you're going to be in places like Warsaw until September and then kind of a... Krakow, Prague, Barcelona, Budapest, uh, Belgrade. I can travel there, no worries. I usually live like uh, one to two months in one place. And then move on. But yeah, I can also move like... I've been flying out for... She days. just wants to flirt, so I flirt right back. I just put in work, yeah, I work like that. Got me falling and it hurts, yeah, it hurts so bad. Falling and it's worth everything I have. I could feel the butterflies multiply every time I meet your eyes. Amplify deep inside, once 